Chris Brown, and this is this is kind of like the story of like last week during the All Star game. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't really like the All Star game. I didn't like shit about it, so I stopped. I didn't watch it. Um, I thought the best part was Steph going against that young lady from the WNBA. Uh, that was a really that was actually pretty good. I actually saw highlights too of that. She's so, cold. Yeah, she's cold as fuck. Um, and so, long story short, Chris Brown took to Instagram, I think, in the story, and uh, he revealed that he was supposed to be in a celebrity All Star game as well, and um, he was set to go. And Ruffles, the brand, Chips. reached out reached out and said, "Hey, we don't want that man in there." And so they did not play him in the All-Star game. But they did tell him that he could come to the game, sit courtside, things of that nature. I don't know if he got paid for that. I don't know if he would get paid for that or anything like that, but he could do that. Yeah. Um, of course, Chris Brown did not, um, said hell no and took to um, Instagram and stuff like that uh, to talk about it. So, yeah. Damn, Chris. And so, you know, That's one of up. his stories – I see, but here's where I think Chris Brown and I think what's wrong with media today is like there's no there are people out there that just are not fully like honest and genuine with what they're doing. Now, do I think that it's fucked up what happened with Chris Brown? Yes, because like if you've already you should have cleared that shit months ago, a year ago or whatever for the all star. Hey, just know we got Chris Brown. We got him coming in. We got him playing. You cool with that? You cool with this? To lead up to it and say, no, Chris Brown, you cannot perform or anything like, or or go out there. And, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. No. I don't. I think that that's fucked up. I think that that's weird. That's For weird what? behavior. Rihanna? Um, like, so that's what I was about to say. The disingenuous. He keeps, everybody keeps bringing up Rihanna. Things that he did years ago and it's things like what? that. But. My problem is, is that Chris Brown still, till this day, is still doing shit. Is he? Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? You're talking about that shit that happened on P Diddy's boat. Um, that happened last year, I believe, where there's a woman that came out and said that Chris Brown assaulted her on P Diddy's and Chris Brown's um, thing. There was a thing with Usher that happened last year, mm-hmm. where there was a story that he punched Usher. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. So still, you yeah, get what I'm saying? There's, I mean, you can. There's so many situations where Chris Brown has done stuff. I think he's in. I think he's considered a blood. I think he's considered a gang member at this point, yeah, bro. Yeah, I think, I think he, so too. Yeah, I think, I think he's he in. The, I think he's in the gang gang. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> this is my problem with Chris Brown. Chris Brown refuses to clean up his image. Actually, sit down with somebody who. At least look over his career and say, "Let's do these little things. Yeah. Let's go out. Let's do an apology. You know, you ain't got to sit down and do a damn doc. No, nobody want to handle Chris Brown documentary right now. Not we right want, now. but we do want to see that you actually are changing for the better. You know what I mean? Right. Everybody getting in relationships nowadays, man. Get your ass in a positive relationship where you can really sit down, put the drugs away, put the put the liquor away. You know what I mean? Put all that stuff away." You want to keep the people around him. Yeah, and that too. And if I was around him, I'd be like, hey, man, you can be mad at me or whoever, but I want you to actually win, so you need to work on your image. Right. Yes, you can still make the music that you want to make. I don't care about that, but you still need to work on that image, Mm. what people see when when it comes to you. You know what I'm saying? That way they can take the focal point off the shit that you did years ago and stuff like that. Yeah. It's just... It's Chris Brown's unwillingness to really sit down and work on his image. Yeah, he hasn't changed. And he hasn't changed any bit. And then you're outlashing on this stuff, man. I'm going to be honest with you. Chris Brown's still making the money because yeah, the album's still good. Chris got money. He got money. He going over. To, he's still doing tours. You're not taking that away from him. <clears throat> Chris, but you're if also he, getting old, my nigga. Like, yeah. You're getting too old to be doing all this shit. Yeah, exactly. You know what Being, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's exactly. been doing it for too long. Yeah, exactly. And really, like, nigga, I mean, come on, Chris, what are we doing? Yeah, exactly. Why, though? Yeah, you exactly. Know? This, this is something's wrong. Something's yeah, different. like, and again, it could be the people around him. Uh, yeah, I really I'm sorry, bro. I would not him. be at no P. Diddy party. Never, ever again. You, man, you, there. You seeing, T. D. G. <laughs> exactly. T. You seeing <laughs> Fab not going to P. Diddy yeah, parties. Yeah, if Fab was not going, I'm not going. Hell You're Chris no. Brown. You don't need to be there. <laughs> Why are you? <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't know. Uh-uh. I would never be associated with any of these people. Yeah. And, you know, find your own way back into the industry some other way, bro. Like, mm-hmm. if you want to be mainstream, that's all I'm saying. Like, if you want to be 
that guy again that gets to go to these awards and dance and and be like you know Usher who got a now yeah. got a Super Bowl performance. He's kind of solidified his legacy mm-hmm. specifically. Um, yep. If you want to do that, then you're gonna have to clean your image up, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna have to do that. I'm sorry, like you know what I mean. Usher doesn't have videos or or not even videos, but like have like these these things where he's punching women. He doesn't have that. He doesn't have like something where he's throwing chairs out of windows during a um during um, Good Morning America. Mm-hmm. It, that's not a part of his legacy. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, it is what it is, bro. You know, it, you gotta you gotta clean that up, bro. Clean it up, and you'll be okay. You'll be okay. Yeah, you'll be okay, man. So, uh, 